We have some questions about this current election, particularly why is it more divisive than any other election in recent memory? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a quick election day video about the divisiveness that's happening and that's led up to this whole thing, combined with the whole crisis and everything else. And I'm just wondering, I have a few interesting questions. This doesn't seem like a natural, like where discussions and heated topics reach a boiling point. It seems almost that something is happening here behind the scenes that they won't talk about. Why were almost all the elections in recent memory you know, not including 2016, sort of just accepted. You know, people just accepted the election and moved on and, and everything else. And also that hanging Chad's election was another one that we'll just put an asterisk on that and not talk about it right now. And we're wondering if each subsequent election gets more divisive, maybe for an external reason, like uh, social media, or what is it? We're, we're trying, is it something completely different? Is it mainstream media, perhaps? Now, you know already that the 2016 election was a shell shocker for most who believed what the MSM uh, peddled, including the MSM themselves. They, they felt like they were just predicting the future there with the 98% one versus zero, almost nothing for the other. And why is it that this election is almost guaranteed, or so they're saying, to become a giant fiasco. Who knows, maybe it won't. We're not gonna get into the conspiracy chatter here, but you can at least part answer one part of this debacle with a simple statement. Those who scream the loudest have the most to lose. Maybe it's because some sort of long-standing racket is about to become disrupted. Who knows, we'll see what happens and uh, may the best person win.